nations not live in peace? Here's what, here's what the President of the United States said, right? Ronald Reagan. He said, cannot all nations live in peace? They want to have Babylon, right? With all the heathen rule and Negroes and Latinos remain at the bottom. Right. That's how you make America great. Right? And Red, Ronald Reagan is saying this. Read. In our obsession with antagonisms of the movement, we, we ought to forget how much units all the members of human, humanity. Perhaps we need some outside universal threat. Suppose we need some outside universal threat, Ronald Reagan said. Read. To make us recognize this common bond. To, make, to, to have us recognize what? This common bond. This common, this common bond, right? This common bond where all the heathen live rich and deliciously and, and drive yachts right, in the sea and have all the wealth of the earth as long as they keep the children of, of Israel enslaved. Right? right? Read. Slack. Uh, okay, come. I occasionally think are quickly, Salaki, I occasionally think how quickly our differences worldwide would vanish. Right, and, and, and Ronald Reagan is saying this in the heat of the Cold War, of the Cold War, right? So he's saying this in the middle of the Cold War, if they were to get into nuclear, uh, nuclear arms battle with Russia, right? How they would look at their, their commonalities and turn away from fighting each other and fight these UFOs that come out of the sky is what Ronald Reagan is saying. If we were facing an alien threat, if they were facing an alien threat now, that's what Ronald Reagan said, right? So is it, it far-fetched? Is it very, very far-fetched when the President of the United States is saying these things? From, from outside this world, and yet, I ask you, is not an alien force already among us? And then, and then Ronald Reagan said, wait, we, we worried about aliens coming. The aliens are already here. The aliens are flying in the sky right now. Our, 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 the, the, the Air Force jets are flying all over the place, chasing these UFOs in the sky. Read. What, what could be more alien to the universal aspirations of our peoples than war and the threat of war? Slaki. Two generations, Slaki. Two centuries ago, in a hall much smaller than this one. Read it again. Two centuries ago, in a hall much smaller than this one, in Philadelphia, Americans met. What could be more what? What could be more? Slaki. What could be more alien to the universal aspirations of our peoples than war and the threat of war? Because America's going to war, and they all see it. And they all got they all got a timer on going to war with the America going to war with Russia, right? Drop that. Let me get Ezekiel 105. So let's go talk about these things. Let's go talk about these things that President Reagan is referring to when he's reading the Bible and talking about swords being turned into plowshares from the Bible. Right? So we're gonna read on some of these things that he thinks is gonna come out of the sky and that he sees in the sky and he believes that what it what it is, right? And I'm gonna tell you straight up. That is the angel of Christ in the sky that he wants to go to war. That's what he's referring to. All right? Ezekiel 1 and 5, read. Ezekiel chapter 1 verse 5. Also out of the mist thereof came the likeness of four living creatures. Out of the mist, out of the sky, came the, came the what? Four living creatures. And he said living. Right? So these, these UFOs you see in the sky, they're alive. Read. And and their appearance, they had the likeness of man. And, and in these chariots in, in the sky, in the UFOs, God said that they have the appearance of a man. And Ronald Reagan re uh, read this in the Bible. And he went to the 42nd Union uh, of, the, um, of the United Nations. And he spoke about this thing that he read in the Bible. And how his UFOs, how the UFOs, are, 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 are chasing all of all of his uh, spaceships around, all of his um, um, um US, US, what do you call those things? The jets, the jets, what's the, what's the right name for these jets? Fighter jets? These, these fi fighter jets, right? Read. Verse six, and everyone had four faces, and everyone had four wings. And the angels had four faces, and the angels had four wings. That's where, that's where all them uh, Hindu gods come from, all them Buddhism gods come from, right? 
because they they read our scriptures and they tried to make gods that 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 trumped in power in image than our uh, than, than Ezekiel. So so they would read the Bible and see, oh, the Israelites got angels that got four faces, no problem. We got a God that got eight faces and eight hands and eight wings, <laughs> right? And they 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 they're, 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 they're uh, uh, a backlash against Cardi B the other day because she did some video. Was it Cardi B or Nicki Minaj? Well, she sees a video about about the Hindu gods. Well, they got they got their gods about reading about these mystical beings in the Bible, which are the soldiers of the Most High God, the angels. Read verse seven. And their feet were sh were straight feet, and the soles of their feet looked like the soles of a calf's foot. And the so the soles of their feet were like the soles of a calf's foot. That's why the Indians now they go they they go get their blessing by training some cow to put their feet on your back when they bow down in front of the cow. I'm not sure if you've ever seen where people in India, they lay down on the ground and have the cow stand on their back, have a foot touch, touch, touch them on their back while they lay down on the ground. They got that from the Bible. They got them from reading Ezekiel. You see what I'm saying? The, the Bible is the, is, is the root of, 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 all, of all religions. All religions try to copy the Bible and they made they made they made a terrible effort in trying to copy the Bible. If if you want to serve God of any race, you have to bow down to the Israelites. I don't, I don't let nobody tell you crack. You know why? Because I never saw you before. But you're a black man like me. And you know what I'm saying? And you know what I'm saying? My whole life was trying to find something to follow. Hand Lord to every man tried to borrow. Felt pain. And a lot of sorrow got betrayed, so packed I didn't even have my heart broke Living confused, about to lose hope Cops got me on the side of the road Like a sideshow, need an antidote before I croak Now I'm setting fire to rhythm man blues Call this guitar smoke Rebel with no cause, trying to find direction The world got me vexed Picked up a bad lick of habit that's already turned from oppression Felt like my life was on fire, trying to find an exit Now look, 10 G's plus a good wreck Sometimes a follower is a soldier Trying to find a good ship Plus when you in hell, how do you excel? Wisdom the breath of life, I don't believe in fairy tale Listen well to what I tell No call it can cause pain Something that a rebel knows very well Can't you tell I was sent from the Lord?